A middle school in East Greenwich being recognized for its commitment to promoting and increasing the social inclusion of kids with intellectual disabilities. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halpern joins us now live in studio with the details that are new at 530. Eric. Mike and Caroline, now that the president has said Special Olympics funding will not be cut, Cole Middle School, along with many others, are breathing a sigh of relief. In fact, they're now being nationally recognized for this program that would have lost money. With a brand new banner hanging in the gym, Cole Middle School is now recognized as a National Banner Special Olympics Unified Champion School. Out of more than 6,000 Unified Champion Schools nationwide, only about 220 are National Banner Schools. And Cole is the first middle school in Rhode Island to receive the honor. It's showing that here at Cole, we have students that want to change the world. Adam Scott runs the Special Olympics programming at Cole Middle School. To get special recognition, it met 10 national standards of excellence. It's not just about us. It's about collectively in the state of Rhode Island what being a unified champion school is all about. Unified champion schools team up students with and without disabilities, having them practice and compete together. But the relationships go much further than the field or court. But earlier this week, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos announced proposed funding cuts for Special Olympics. It was stunning and alarming. According to Special Olympics Rhode Island CEO Dennis DeJesus, the organization gets about $150,000 in federal money. Money, he says, helps fund the Unified Champion Schools program. After his administration was heavily criticized, President Trump said, quote, I have overridden my people. We're funding the Special Olympics. I kind of knew that our champions in Congress would support it. I knew that there was a long way to go. If the funding had left, we would have found a way. We do. We're teachers, and that's what we do. We are whole. And by 2020, Special Olympics goal is to have 10,000 schools participating in the Unified Champion Schools program. Live in studio, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.